to what the second tradition was telling us is that there's one ultimate authority, a loving God, as he may express himself in our group conscience. So we find authority by coming together with people. We don't find authority by taking it and then telling people what they need to do. We come together and together we allow that spirit to speak through the assembled number, whatever it is, whoever it is, two, three, whatever. And, and to, so to say, when I see a need and I want to give help, I want to give of myself. My help may be accepted, it may be welcomed, it may not. It's not up to me to make other people take my help. I, I don't, and I don't need to feel slighted if they don't take it. I offer. That's all, that's all that I'm supposed to do. Service is not manipulation. Service is not coercion. Our service has to be freely given without keeping a tally sheet. Now, we all do it from time to time. We, we list down. But every time that comes to mind, of, oh, after everything that I've done, and they do this and that, forget it. Forgive it. Let it go. Because you're impeding your own service by doing that. So we do not have to force people to do what we think is right. To remember, this is what the little kid said on TV years ago. You are not the boss of me. We are not the boss of anyone. To get that, oh man, to get that in mind. Whew. We're not the boss of anyone. In our interactions with others, we want to remain humble. And humble means understanding that we're all equal, which is what we talked about last week, that we're all equal. We're all of equal value. Yeah, today I temporarily have something that you don't have, so I'm going to give that to you. I'm going to give that to you. It increases in me. It increases in you. Then you give me something without me asking, without me expecting. We are equal. We give the gift of love to stand ready, to be available to help, but to not be in charge. I'm not in charge. I keep telling myself, I'm not in charge. I don't really want to be in charge, although sometimes I think that I want to be in charge. I am not in charge. <sighs> to avoid of thinking of ourselves as superior or inferior to anyone. This is, it, and it's just, it's just the two sides of the same coin. You know, sometimes we think that feeling inferior, that's really being humble. It's not. That's just reverse egotism. Equal. Equal value. So we see that we all have authority in creating our own lives. We have authority in creating our own lives. We do not have authority in creating the lives of others. But together, when we come together with others, we can share that authority of a loving God. And we can come up with a course of action that is best for everyone involved. Do sad people have in common? It seems that they have all built a shrine to the past and often go there and do a strange wail and worship. What is the beginning of happiness? It is to stop being so religious like that. So we have an opportunity to be of service, but we don't want to be locked into the past. We want to give freely to life without thinking about... See, the past keeps coming to our minds and it keeps polluting the present moment. I sent out Yesterday I sent out a tweet that said, God's will is now. God's will is now. So what we're doing in this service is we're doing God's will, which is it's just really simple. God's will is what's best for everybody. And God's will is right now. So if you ever heard someone say, okay, I want this thing, I want that thing. You know, I've been, I've been, I wanted to get that promotion. I wanted to, uh, I, I, I wanted to get that, whatever it is. And they say, but you know, God's time, not mine. <laughs> uh, well, the th here's the thing about that. 
it's not God's time, really. I mean, you'll have the things that you desire and the, and the good things that you want when you're ready to accept them. When you're ready to accept them. It, so it is actually is your time. So if those things that you really desire, and I'm talking about the desires of your heart. I'm not talking about the petty little self-centered stuff that comes to mind every day, although it might apply. I'm talking about the desires of your heart, those things that are good for you and good for everybody else around you. God is right now ready to give that to you. And the only reason that you have not seen it come into manifestation is because you are not ready to accept it. You either think you don't deserve it, you think it's impossible, you think that, can't, that, 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 that won't happen for me. It, that, it, it is not that you're sitting around waiting for God to decide, well, I'm going to bless him today. God is blessing you right now, not next week. When next week gets here, God will be blessing you right now. So God's time is now. God's will is now. And so this whole thing about service, this whole thing about being a servant is, what can I do right now to establish God's will? In, in my mind. See, here's the thing. It's total egotism to think that that God needs little that, that God needs us to bring about God's will. God's will is present. What we need to do is open our mind to God's will so that we can be in harmony with life. The good is already there. All we have to do is turn to it. And it's all around us. And every person, that person that I gave, the woman who was disturbed on the street and I gave the money to her. I can't be thinking about the fact is that I only have so much money in my pocket. And there's so many people here that are asking. There's no way that I could I could just I, I could walk down one street and empty my pocket pretty quickly. But what I know is that woman, right then, that moment, appeared before me. And she was the only one that I had to help. And so it is all day, every day, people come in front of us. Most of the time they're not asking for money. Ultimately, what are they asking for? All of them, even that woman that did ask me for money. They're asking for love. They're asking for love, and so are we. And when we give it, we get it. And that's proper service. That's enough.